Hello everybody, in this video I'll be terraforming the grass and land around my house just so it looks a bit better. This is episode 5 of my Minecraft Let's Play, I hope you enjoy the video. As you can see I've moved all of my valuables upstairs into the chest next to me. I have my iron, lapis, diamonds and redstone all tucked away in there. If you haven't watched my previous videos of this Let's Play I would highly recommend it. So you know what has happened and what hasn't happened in my let's play and also this will allow you to make comments about what I should add and what I should take out. As you just saw I decided to take out a few trees off camera because I thought it'd take too long to do on camera. And this allows for me to terraform the ground without having to remove the trees so it'll be much more quicker and efficient. And in my chest downstairs you can see that I've got lots of saplings and I've got some apples from it. It's not a lot of apples, only eight, but it's still more than I had before because I've been running quite low on food. I need to go back inside the house so I can grab some iron to make more shovels otherwise I won't actually be able to dig anything up. As you can see I do have eight diamonds in my chest but I don't really want to use them at this stage because I don't have many and I don't have many materials to craft and mine so I don't want to use them up too quickly. I'm digging up the grass around my area so I have dirt to place down and cover up all the gaps in the grounds. I'm not going to terraform loads so I'll probably do it off camera most of it because it takes too long. As you can see whenever I dig I keep falling into caves which is a nuisance so once I'm able to fill all the caves in it will be so much easier. I just noticed out of the corner of my eye that the sun is starting to set so once it gets a bit darker I'll finish this off and I'll go sleep. With all the grass I'm digging up, I will most likely just place it in front of my house so I have more room to build and make it look nicer when I'm looking out the windows. Hopefully I can get enough materials to do this, but I will probably fill in the river around the front of my house because it is quite annoying to get over. I'm making it flatter because when it's flat I could place more torches and the light will spread over more blocks and it will spawn less mobs. Okay, I'm started digging and I will cut to once I finish digging and I've got enough materials. So, see you in a minute. Okay, I'm back now and I've got quite a bit of materials and I've created a chest outside my house with all the dirt in it. So, I will start filling in. I did get a bit carried away and I started to feel something, but I'm sorry about that. As you can see on Minecraft Bedrock, we are able to spread bridge and place blocks out in front of us instead of having to crouch. This makes it so much quicker and efficient to be able to place blocks in front of us because we can jump and sprint and it places it in a row. As you can see, I only gathered around like five stacks, but it's still quite a bit and it should be able to fit in quite a lot of area. In a minute I'm going to go and kill them llamas because I might be able to get a couple of leads from it which means later on I won't actually have to get as many slime balls.
I'm gonna check to see what traders wandering trader have. So far. They're not really too good, except from the gunpowder, but it's not really that useful at the moment. Seems I don't have any emeralds, but I will spare him for now. But if he gets in my way, I will have to kill him. If he doesn't move, I will kill him. All right, so, well, I did say I was gonna kill him if he didn't move and if he would get in the way, so I guess he's dead. Yeah, this is definitely taking quite a while to do and to gather all the resources, so I will definitely do it off camera. But I will show you where I'm going to start, so you know where I've started and where I'll end off once I've done it all. See, this is a winding river that I was talking about. It is quite annoying to get across because lots of drowns spawn in there. I haven't actually tried to kill drowns on this world yet, but since as I've got iron armor, I will try to kill him. They're actually much easier than I thought they would have been to kill, but unluckily they didn't actually drop any trident because on bedrock, no matter what drowned, they can have a chance of spawning trident. I think I'm going to grab a little bit more dirt, fill in this little gap and I'll end the video there. I hope you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. I hope you will watch the next video I try and post daily. I want more life for my dick shit, and I'm getting tired of all the same shit. I want to see my family, want to see my friends have been slept on like my name says. And I'm pretty far from being famous, but I sure as hell ain't nameless. So just take